In part seven, we're going to do a very important session. It's about associations. So associations allow us to link to other business objects and to standard content. What, what are we doing here today? So we want to use our seminar example in order to explain that. So we said a seminar is done by a teacher and a teacher is an employee in our standard CRM system. So we really want to be able to link a teacher to the seminars. Until now, we just had a blank field there. We could maybe type something, but actually we really would like to select from list of existing employees, select this one and really connect the two business objects, the seminar management with our standard object, the employee, which is in our case, the teacher here. So what we're going to learn today is how we can add an association for the teacher in our seminar management. So we associate from here to the teacher. It's a one-to-one -one association. We write the logic um, to set the association. So we give an ID to it and then it really sets the link between these two objects. And later, for sure, we don't want to do this only on database and logic level, but also have it on the UI. So we also want to really see on the UI a selector where I can select employees and can display, for example, the first and the last name. So all this we're going to do, I might split it up in two videos, but as a first part, that's where we need to start, is that we need to provide an association that we always should have if we link to other objects, because that's how we navigate also when we do code to other objects and we really link them like in a relational database. Okay, let's take a look at the studio now. Okay, here in the studio, I opened the business object that we have and here we have our seminar management. And what we want to do is now we want to add an association. So I use here um, the code completion control space. I choose an association and now I need to say what I need to associate to. So here I say association and then I give it a name. I call it always to employee, for example, then it's very speaking. And then I need to say to. And then I need to specify the business object I would like to link to. In this case, I will have the namespaces here. We will now specify an import statement so that we have actually already the employees in here directly as business objects. I know the employees are in the business partner namespace here. And then I can associate here. And now I get here also the employee business object here. Okay, I will take this. So now I have specified that I want to have a link that I call to employee to the employee business object, basically. We could also, instead of calling to employee, maybe that's better even for us, we call it the relation to teacher, because then it gives us also the context what this means for us, because we could have several associations. One to the teacher as employee, one is maybe the organizer of the appointment. So we could have two, several associations to the object employee. So let's call it to teacher. Okay, that's for it on the business object side. Um, what we now need is a new event because we want to set this link to the employee object in the moment when we want to modify the field um, teacher here. So let's add the um, after modify event, but before we need to save once and activate here so that the system has this association stored. Okay, now we have the association saved. Now we create a new event here, create script files like we did before. I will do it also without mass enable here and create the after modify. Then we get an empty script file. We now can put the code in order to set this association on every modify. Okay, to set the association, I need to write some code to get the employee. So I will first need an uh, import again of the business partners here. Okay, then I will define a variable that I call just teacher. We will store the teacher that I fetch. This teacher I will set now equal to, and now I take the employee and here I know that his ID is stored in the identification area here, where is a retrieve function to retrieve the employee with his employee ID actually. So I can open this retrieve and with a retrieve function, you import, like insert here the employee ID and then you actually uh, retrieve. Now we see here, uh, very unfortunately, this is employee ID, which is expects from a data type. But we named our, let's take a look, 
this dot um, employee our teacher so let's close this and then we will get an error because we actually provided a business partner ID which is a string so actually I did a mistake here by putting the wrong data type here in our definition now we made a little time warp and you can see the employee ID is changed to employee ID here so now it's correct and our coding should be very easily working if you follow this tutorial after um, mid of Gen uh, 2020, then probably you have already the employee ID because I will update my previous blog posts. Um, if you have not, I made a troubleshooting video blog also where I explain you how to change the wrong data type if you once put one, which I think is a very important lesson, um, but it's a bit special and sidetracked. So um, I assume now you have the employee ID either by following my extra blog or by starting already with the right example from the beginning. And now we can do the after modify coding here. So here you see I started my coding and I will just now uncomment these lines. And now you see that the retrieve is working because now we have the expected employee ID in our field, this dot teacher here. So if everything works, here will be stored the actual teacher business object. And this is now what we set against the association, if it's not null. So we need to check always if there's a null pointer. So we need to check actually if this, if teacher dot is set. So if it's not null, if it's set, then we continue our coding basically. So we open here the brackets. And if this is set, that's the moment actually when we want to set the association. And now we have our this, this dot to teacher and here you can see it's an association a zero to one in this case so we want to sit this one actually equal to our teacher but because we started on the teacher on the identification level we want to link it to a root so there are always standard associations that link you always to the top level of the object we want to ensure that we're on the top level of the object and with this little code we set the association in the after modify. So we will use a variable teacher. We define that, we set it with a retrieve function. We use our ID field to really set it. Then here should be our employee object stored in. We check if it's set. And if that's true, then we set our association, so our link really to this um, retrieve uh, result. And then we have really set the connection between the employee and the teacher. But before we do that, we will activate the uh, script. I will activate here on the BO level. Sometimes it helps or it's better to activate on the business object level because then really everything underneath is activated. So now our script is active. So in the moment we do any modification in a seminar, this logic here is triggered. Um, we will have later also sessions on how to use a debugger to take a look here actually. So just take a quick look here. So what did we do? We really established this link. So first we defined it on the business object level and then we also set it during the after modify event. So these first tasks are done. Now we have it done on database level. We have it done on logic level, but I mean, the user really needs it on the UI level that you can see it. So that's how we want to now connect it and really take a look at the UI. And then you will also understand much better the value of such an association, how we can use it on UI or coding level.